Neptown Tuner here, like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, we will be replacing my N75 valve. It broke when my belt came loose and exploded. So I've got a brand spanking new, gently used N75 valve right here. And with the uh, appropriate hoses attached, and I'm gonna show you how to get these hoses loose from this turbocharger. Of course, first let's explain this N75 valve. It's kind of like your electronic boost controller. You're gonna get reference from the intake and reference from the boost side of the turbocharger. And this is your wastegate diaphragm right here. Your wastegate is the flap that holds in your boost. And then when you get to set parameters, when you get to the appropriate PSI of boost pressure, it's going to open that valve. This diaphragm is, is operated by boost pressure, not vacuum. The boost pressure is gonna come out of this broken nipple right here. It's gonna come from the compressor side, from the boost side of the turbo, through this valve, and it's going to push this diaphragm and open your wastegate and allow that precious boost to bleed out. Of course, if you have a tune, it's gonna hold this longer so that you're gonna raise your boost pressure higher, and that's the easiest way to get more ponies out of your 2.0T is just to get the little stage one, stage two, or bigger turbo, stage three performance, bigger turbo KO4, and some people go bigger than that, but I prefer just to stick with KO4 because I like to have a nice power range. I don't like to be super slow and then super fast. If you want a nice power range and lots of power, step up to something with bigger cylinders. That was real talk from Naptown Tuner. Now, eventually we will get something with bigger cylinders and more cylinders and all of that, but we gotta start small. I have a few different pair of pliers here. First, we're gonna start with the twin grips and uh, these are like Knipex motorcycle pliers. First, I'm gonna try these uh, motorcycle style pliers because these are small hoses right here with spring clips, sp spring clamps, if you will. We're gonna move the clamps down. There's one, it's pretty tight quarters down here. So most people would get the needle nose for that bottom one. And then we got another spring clip on this diaphragm right here. And now I'm gonna try to use this with the fulcrum leverage point right there on that curved jaw. And I'm just going to gently move it side to side and then give it a pull. And that came off just beautifully. We're gonna try something similar to this bottom. See, if you had some really thick jaws that uh, it, you're clamping down too much. You just want to grip it enough to where you can spin it. And when you spin it, that helps free it up and then you can pull it off easier. This one is straight vertical. On this one, I'm gonna to try to put it in the jaw of the twin grip like this and out the front. So I'm gonna come down here like so at an angle. I'm holding this top hose right here because I don't want any whiplash or anything. To, who cares, this thing's already broken. Okay, so I guess that bottom nipple's pretty stout. It's not gonna snap. The top nipple, how stout is that? I don't know, I don't really care, but these are hex bolts right here, but since I don't just normally carry that stuff around with me, I got T25 and it seems to fit, so we're gonna, these are probably like four millimeter hex. So we're gonna take these out right here first and Sometimes it's easier just to take the bit off and use it like a screwdriver. Sometimes it's easier just to take the bit off and use it like a screwdriver. Now we're going to uh, wiggle and pull. Let's put the new one on. I'm gonna slide the top one on right here. I'm gonna go ahead and position and bolt it up. Right there. These have little slide in metal retainers. So make sure that those stay intact.
now we know this top hose is properly acclimated. And we'll go ahead and slide this clamp on the top. Put this wastegate diaphragm hose on, slide its clamp on, and now we'll put this bottom hose on the compressor side of the turbo. And these are a little bit bulky for this scenario, so I'm gonna switch back over to my motorcycle pliers. See how thin? right up in the corner pocket. This next video, we'll do the wiring repair. That was the N75 valve install. Like, comment, and subscribe.